Hi, Robin and Chet here with Sea Lake Journeys. Aboard the Caribbean Princess! Yes! So today we're going to talk about seasickness and how to avoid it. Mm. So today we're going to present to you some options for seasickness. We have five over-the-counter options, two prescription options, and two options that are absolutely free. Not only that, we're also going to tell you which seasickness remedies work for us. I have a seasickness remedy that works for me, and he has one that works for him. So we have two different ones. Speaking of free remedies, you know what else is free? Subscribe to her channel and give us a <laughs> thumbs up. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, the number one thing that you can get over the counter at any drugstore is Dramamine. This is a very commonly used one by people. It's cheap and it is effective. However, you have to note that it does cause drowsiness in most people. Yes, it's a small tablet. You take it once a day, most of the time, but it does cause drowsiness. They also have a less drowsy formula, but it still has drowsiness to it. So the next one is Bonine. Bonine is similar to Dramamine in the fact that it's a tablet that you take and it's effective for a lot of people. However, it can cause drowsiness. And then the third option is pressure point bands. And we have a clip here from a couple of ladies on the ship that were wearing the bands. So we met a couple of ladies at the table and they have the um, pressure point bracelets on and so with our video about seasickness we're gonna have their opinion. How about that? <laughs> they work great. So here they are. You put them uh, the bigger side down and on your wrist it's pressure point but I think they work just as good as Dramamine if not better than the patches. So you do the patch and the bracelets both at the same time? It's my first time doing both. Uh -huh. But this has worked by itself before. Just is it just because the seas are rough today? Yes. Because yes. yes. they were not rough yesterday? No. no. The storm so came in. And I usually get car sick, so this is my first cruise. And I usually get car sick, so that's why I did the pressure points and the patch, and I haven't had any trouble. Excellent. Excellent. But you take these off when you want to go to get some sun. See that you don't get a bracelet. There you go. <laughs> well, thank you ladies for that information. Thank, thank you. you. So the fourth option is ginger. Ginger candy, ginger tea, or ginger ale. That's why Gilligan's Island, they never got seasick. They had ginger they had with ginger them with the them. whole time. <laughs> Go ginger. <laughs> Pathic. That's pills. our fifth option. And essential oils. Our daughter uses essential oils, and here's she has some uh, oils that she uses, and she puts them on the lava beads, and here are the oil combinations that she uses. So we've got two remedies here for you that will require a doctor. The first one is the scopolamine patches. I hope I said that right. <laughs> it's a little patch you stick behind your ear. It lasts three days, very effective. Side effects on that typically are cotton or dry mouth in the morning. And some people have slightly blurry vision only on reading small print such as the menu or their phone. I still think that's from drinking rum and not wearing <laughs> the glasses. But. <laughs> and then we, the other doctor uh, that needs a doctor is acupuncture. A lot of cruise ships offer acupuncture for seasickness and a lot of people have said that it really works. It's one of the more costly ones however. And then our two free tips. Two is, free tips. Two free, free, no charge, is when you get on the deck such as this, concentrate on the horizon and not the motion of the water by the ship. Yes. And then the second tip is to avoid alcohol and drink plenty of water. <laughs> so what works for me is ginger ale or ginger candy. I usually buy the soda package so that I can have ginger ale and I literally just sip on ginger ale all day long and that works for me and that's great. I use the patch. Hello. Yes. <laughs> works great. You can put me in one of them gyroscopes for the astronauts. I'm good to go. <laughs> now I do uh, have the doctor prescribe patches for me as well just in case like the second day that we were on the Caribbean Princess it was quite rough and I just 
left on the patch and I was good to go. So some, we did meet some ladies in the dining room that were wearing the bracelets as well as the patch at the same time, mm -hmm. only because it was very rough. So it's whatever works for you. We've also heard that green apples work. And this ship does have green apples on the buffet every day. But green apples are kind of filling, so we choose not to do that. So check these tips out. They can help you have a better vacation because nobody wants to be seasick on their cruise, right? Hey, there's the horizon. <laughs> and if you enjoyed our video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Woo. We would love to have you as part of the Sea Leg Journey crew and it helps others find us as well. Thank you. See you around the channel. See you around the channel.